Well, they're churned out as quickly as they're sold, and there's never a shortage of interest. Toys in the territory, it's a big industry that's made Hong Kong the world's toy capital. But for one person, his assembly line is virtually a one-man show that's allowed him to stand out in the crowd. They come off the lines and onto the store shelves. They're for child's play, but in Hong Kong, toys mean big business. In Jordan, though, nestled in a cramped studio off Shanghai Street, there's another kind of production going on. In Hong Kong, we used to make toys this way, just use the hands, no machinery, no big uh, factory. Michael Lee has been making his dolls this way for nearly 50 years. His signature creations have caught the eye of collectors and those who just want a toy with an original and personal touch. They're not interested in buying Barbie or Mickey Mouse. That thing you can buy anytime, anywhere, right? They're looking for this kind of thing. How do you come up with ideas? Well, that all depends. Sometimes it just came, for instance, I first came to Hong Kong because I saw this uh, lady at the market, you know, on the building site, you know, this Hakka lady. These are the people, the people of Hong Kong. And also, you look this, this one here. That's uh, both people, Dan Gai and Lego or Hakka, you know. It's, uh, you can see, you know, that we from China, we never see anything like this. You know, this attract me. Lee's dolls have also attracted toy makers interested in mass producing his originals. One time, six toy buyers from Japan, they didn't come in to sit down, they was on the door. They asked me, Mr. Lee, where is your factory? I said, this is my factory, he just walked out. Everything is handmade, from the doll itself to the clothing and even footwear. Lee employs some help, but the number is small. This handicraft is a home industry, never amount to much. I make uh, sometimes 10, some, uh, some less. Eventually, I made more design, I like this Chinese dog. This really is the best seller. I don't know how many. I never be able to make it enough. You know, you know, cabbage patches was made here. 40,000 a day. And you're the most that you've made? Well, I never did that number. No, I, don't I, make, I make about 10 sometimes, less than 10. Lee's dolls sell anywhere from 200 Hong Kong dollars to a few thousand. And they've been exhibited at Hong Kong's annual toy fair, a major international and local event. One time they asked me to exhibit, to exhibit my dolls. I said, uh, I squatted my head. I said, never done before. I don't, never heard, I never see a uh, exhibition, exhibit uh, doors, maybe toys, you know, toy fairs, but never this. So you uh, were to keep going? And so I went there. You'd be surprised. You know, that exhibition lasts 15 days. You see? The people order. Lee's business hasn't reaped great profits. He says he only got into doll making as a way to survive after fleeing China following the communists' takeover. I came out of here without passport, or visa, anything. Just walked in. What year was that? 1949. Near the, uh, Shanghai, I had the big guns going bang, bang, you know that. The, uh, the person of uh, my university, he was from uh, Virginia. He said, Michael, this is fair for you to go to Hong, uh, Hong Kong. The last boat. If you don't go, I waste this money. <laughs> so I came. I didn't want to leave Hong Kong. And another surprise for Lee was getting offers to appear in movies. I'm nobody. I'm just a small fry in a big city. <laughs> Trying to make a living, that's all. You know what Hong, uh, the South China most did? Put my picture on the, on the front page, I'm in the cover. I still got that picture. <laughs> then uh, this young lady, She's already a very famous actress. She, 
she saw, uh, she liked uh, my uh, what you call, uh, portraits. She said, would you like to call me up? That was nearly 30 years ago, but people are still calling Lee. I do heck of a lot. I do around the uh, world in the 80 days and local house. And uh, when I finished last year's uh, uh, Dumbo drop, you know, what this in the picture? I had a wonderful about elephants. You might have caught Lee in the locally produced film Cage Man, or in Oliver Stone's Heaven and Earth. But for the 89-year-old, he's keeping his feet firmly on the ground, sticking to his real passion, doll making handicraft that is fast becoming a dying art. But it's an art some hope to keep alive, like Ha Yun Ha, who came to Hong Kong last month to learn from Lee. Malaysia Paul is volunteering her time to learn every aspect of a humbling craft that has gained Lee not only recognition, but a lot more friends than finances. We all become good friends. It's not just business transaction. When they come, I never so I buy this story, oh, this is how much, this is really good, you know. I don't like sales talk. It's more than business. You'd be surprised. I, I never thought much of this. Toy things that never amount to anything. I now realize I'm on the right track all the time. <laughs> Can you beat it? You know.